Original pirate material. You're listening to Killian Sheridan. And your aerial. How's it come to this? Original pirate material. You're listening to the sheriff show with Lewis Capaldi. And again, Darren Connell today. Thanks for joining me, Darren, for another substitute appearance. No, no, not substitute. Another guest star appearance. Yeah. I think it definitely sounds much better. Because Lewis never came. Again. And I don't wanna I don't wanna spend too much time on him right now because he's he's on a he's on given the weather outside, he's he's on thin ice. So <laughs> Um, look, he's got some, he's got some groveling to do yeah. to get back in just he's, as we're, I, I wouldn't be surprised if once, you know, the big, the big thing that we're expecting to happen any minute happens Yeah, and he's going to come calling. We know that's going to happen. Yeah. Cause he's costing me work as well. I mean, we won't get into it, but he's costing me work at Christmas and stuff, but like it's a podcast. I feel like that's now involved me in costing you work at, at christmas and yeah look this show is all about monetization so i don't want you missing out on anything <laughs> that's all right uh, a few quick shout outs i i didn't use it again so i'm sorry liquid feet here again shout out to liquid feet i don't know your your real official name government name but liquid feet on twitter suggested pink get the party started as an intro which actually yeah would have been eh, would have been pretty good it's a bit too poppy i think i'm trying to go slight not niche but just different different songs and i just don't think pink is a uh, i'm gonna screw myself here because i'm gonna end up narrowing it down to songs that I just will be struggling to find anymore. <laughs> but Liquid Feet, I I appreciate it. Um, and also the reviews still haven't taken off. Uh, that could change soon and, and reviews could turn. Reviews could get nasty, I feel. Um, but we have actual fan mail sent in all the way from... All the way from Ireland via London, and I'm sure you, I'm sure you won't mind me reading it out, will he? Go for it, Kieran Brennan, Baguette Brennan. I'll wear he he had some pretty nice merch he sent me a, a year or two ago. Baguettes by Brennan. So I should have worn that today, but I wasn't thinking. Um. So here we go, guys. It's addressed to see. This is another thing. And it gets back to, to to our intro there. It is addressed to Lewis Capaldi. So it's to Lewis Capaldi, the sheriff show, the Green Room podcast studio. Uh, and nice little touch there at the end. He put in Planet Earth because he knows I'm very in tune with the planet and uh, just overall plant-based lifestyles and you know, eco-friendly kind of thing. So nice touch by him there. So here goes. I'm probably not the one to read this considering you have experience on screen and probably read stuff out a lot more interestingly. So here, would you, would you do the honours? Yeah, even though I'm dyslexic and I've not got my glasses on. Do you want me to do it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 that's why you should have had a little bit of prep beforehand okay dear Killian and Lewis and team Darren and Paul yeah big fan of the show and while I refuse to like subscribe or smash any YouTube buttons I felt compelled to deliver some written feedback the first cousin of order is chaos so I feel a cultural review slot would be great for the timelessness of your broadcast. Japanese lessons for Killian, Italian cuisine for Lewis, the sponsors, and more importantly, the monetization will flow. P 
Pleasure is the path to joy. That was typed on the thing, so he didn't write that in. Pleasure is the path to joy. And now we're back to Kieran's writing. Live, laugh, monetize, baguettes. Beautiful. Beautiful, Kieran. And I think we can encourage more, more written fan mail. But just keep it at fan mail because we've, uh, there could be an avalanche of hate mail coming for for two reasons because there could be um some bubbles burst some <laughs> some angry bubbles burst yeah uh, and I, actually i need to address something there as well he said about not liking subscribing i'm tempted to go back on my promise and maybe ask people to share and subscribe i don't know if i'm too bothered about that sharing probably would get the viewing numbers up yeah. liking it in the long run liking and all that probably helps the algorithm but uh i just feel like i might need to ask people to to share and comment yes but continue not to like and subscribe thank you very much and repost on vine not Vine, God, I'm like a granddad. Definitely. <laughs> TikTok, I mean. <laughs> well, TikTok, oh, before we get into TikTok, um, very happy to announce that this week's sponsor of, of the episode and the show today is McDonald's. So we've come to a little your enemies becoming your friends and all that kind of stuff. Sim well, what's the saying? Similar. Keep your enemies close and your friends closer. It's it's somewhere in there. It's a, uh, what was it? Art of war. It's, yes. uh, it's There's probably a saying to do with uh, the sheriff show working alongside McDonald's in an ancient proverb. But, uh, yeah, so we can we can move on to the the big news this week that has really overshadowed I think the whole show. And that was the TikTok. The TikTok viral the viral TikTok segment was a has so far been a success. A runaway success, I'll say, because um it's just it's it's taken over it's it's taken over my world. It's taken over the, myself the last 20 hours now, I think it's been, since I posted it. I actually forgot all about it until I st uh, sent it in. Yeah. And I'd literally just looked at it. I was on, I was actually on Twitter watching the, not on Twitter watching the game. I was watching the World Cup, the Argentina and Croatia game. And I was watching that and thinking a few funny things to tweet. Not realizing I was sitting on a on a gold mine, <laughs> <laughs> and then I checked it after. It was about three hours, and it was at fifty thousand views, and it was a good bit of interaction, good bit of hate, a good bit of um, championing of of me taking down those pesky vegans, uh, and. I'm not sure how, what's like, what's the lifespan of a, of a TikTok video? Does it die down relatively soon or does it continue going? Your one seems to be, to be continuing to go. It's getting more, more views as we speak, more comments. Because it's, it's, it is a world that is totally new to me. Yeah. And it is, it's a very different um, online place I think and I've gotten sucked into I was trying to stay off it for ages and then I found myself without realising I just click so I'll go in to see how it's doing then I'll click on the home page and then I realise I'm just watching garbage like stuff that I'm watching I'm just it's a girl dancing in her bedroom and it just seems to always be girls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, so I'm I am now a pawn in China's grab for world dominance. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I look, I knew the the Mandarin was going to come in handy at some stage. So I'm I'm a step ahead of 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 the rest of the people involved in it, but um, they've got us. They've yeah. got us. Like what's the that that famous saying George W. Bush said? Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> George Bush Jr., I should add. <laughs> Upon the capturing of Saddam Hussein, I'm going to guess. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot we're not <laughs> political here. But, uh, <laughs> no. Did, did um, Obama copy him? Say the same about... Um, what's his name? Osama. Osama bin Laden. Yeah. yeah. John Cena also said that as well at a wrestling event. He stopped what? the wrestling event and he said, "Ladies and gentlemen, we've got him." Talking about Osama. Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like it was a storyline in, in the wrestling night or something like <laughs> that. Vince McMahon <laughs> captured outside or something. No, no. Oh, he actually interrupted the event. Yeah. Wow. Need to look up and see what. So on YouTube, if Obama copied uh, George Bush, Obama's <laughs> copied George Bush, and John Cena's copied <laughs> Obama. That's that's called joke thief in my game. Play, plagiarism. We're, and look, we know we're all about outing people here. So, uh, although some could say this week I've been the biggest liar. Uh, so just to go a little bit more on got a bit sidetracked there on the on the whole the whole TikTok um, moment phenomenon. No, it's a. I feel like I don't want to get carried away with the numbers on TikTok because I feel like they're a bit skewed. They're a lot higher than than Twitter and Instagram, aren't they? Yes. But they're still real. It's, it's a pop, it's, it seems to be a more popular app now. I could say that sponsorship-wise, this changes things. People who are hanging about will now realize that yesterday's price is not today's price. Yeah. In the words of Pusha T. Yeah. <laughs> Not in his words. It's just from, I think it's one of his songs. It starts off like that. Maybe I could add a little sound bit of it in. Yesterday's <laughs> price is shout out Pusha T. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to give shout outs earlier on. Shout out George Bush. Ben John Cena. Obama. John Cena. The U.S. government for capturing them. I yeah, guess. and Osama as and well. so on. Yeah, even well, though he's dead. Look, I'm all right. I'm in a I'm in a bit of bother right now, so I'm, I'm, I won't go. I don't want to make any more new enemies. Yeah. Although I think possibly a lot of those are going to become my enemy now, because one of the best things about that video, the TikTok video, all the comments of people saying it's unbelievable what I done and it's uh, so funny I'm a hero legend not my words and these are all people saying it because they're like oh he's taking the piss out of vegans and he's fucking vegans over so for people listening to this podcast for the first time right now what explain what you've done that's a pro right there um, well, maybe put a picture up of it or uh, I'll describe it very quickly that I've done a TikTok viral video. I've done a video hoping it would become viral, making up a story, pretending I worked at McDonald's, that I used to work at McDonald's and I played a game where I would switch out a beef burger. No, I would switch out a vegan burger with a beef burger. And it was this kind of sick game us McDonald's employees used to play. And it's a million views 
in less than 24 hours <laughs> with a lot of opinions, uh, <laughs> to put it mildly. There's, and you know, it's a little bit representative of society today that there's, there's a split in the camp. Yeah. You're one way or you're the other way. Um, and fortunately for me, I'm both. So I can laugh at both of them and I can sympathize with both of them and I can just sit back and laugh at them, laugh at them all. Um, or, or what I'm doing now, discuss it on my podcast. Uh, so some of the, some of the highlights were shouts to get sued. One lady allegedly sent it to the police. I don't know what police <laughs> in what country. Um, so hopefully, hopefully I'm here for the next show. Cause yeah. I mean, she seemed pretty serious and pretty upset. Uh, then there's the people that were loving me who hate vegans. And then they, they won't realize that I'm actually a vegan. So it's, I don't know what the word is on that, where you... You've played them <laughs> perfectly. I played them. Both camps. I played them. Um, I had no idea it would work so good and so quickly. Um, and the other thing I find funny is, see if I went and ordered a McPlant burger like I have done because I'm a vegan. And someone done that to me and gave me a beef burger. I wouldn't really be that bothered. Um, and my reason for that is because, I mean, a McDonald's beef burger, how much beef is it really? Yeah. It's like, I think of it like a, a an alternative milk, like your oat milk or soy milk, almond milk are, I think, less than 2% of that ingredient. And then the rest is, is water. And I think McDonald's burgers are the same way. I've heard that if they don't put salads on a Big Mac, it's not classed as a burger. It'd be more of a dessert because there's that much sugar in it. I don't know if it's true, but that's what I've read somewhere. If you've read it, then it's true. Yeah, so, and it was like 10 years ago or something. So, And I, oh, so that's before fake news. <laughs> that's when everything was real. Yeah. Um, that's like Subway. Subway had to, what was it they done for their tax? They got taxed higher for uh, for the bread to have sugar in it. Mm -hmm. So it's actually called a cake, I think. Yeah. Or maybe it's only in Ireland that. No, no, that's, yeah, that's here as well. Um. Also, another thing, completely off topic. Uh, see how the last time I was talking about the governments and that are listening to, to us and they're changing laws. And so the Irish government changing the rule on vaping after listening here. And then the SFA changing the rule on heading after my whole discussion around me having brain damage. Well, I know I couldn't help but notice petrol prices have significantly dropped the last few weeks since I brought that up and how it's madness, how they can all just change their prices. So, I mean, in this costs of living crisis, you're welcome, everybody. Um, back to back to TikTok <laughs> spooky back to TikTok I, th I did take some screenshots of good comments to to maybe review but there there is actually too many there's too many there's um yeah. shout out to the garden guy who left a comment just commented nobody cares mate nobody fucking cares do you know the, that clip? Yes. This clip here. 
Nape that kills me. Nape that kills me. Nape that mm-hmm. fucking kills me. Because that's a clip that I put up a lot on my Instagram stories. Uh, another one here, Marilyn Spurdos. Spurdos? Don't care if I pronounce that right or wrong. Why do you think vegans are difficult? Is it because you feel shit about having animals murdered so you can eat? Joke's on you, Marilyn. <laughs> Joke is on you. Uh, this is utter made up garbage. Old historical tale. McDee's only released a burger in 2021. This was one I saw a few of saying, oh, the McPlant was only out in January. Do they not realize it's December? Like you could easily work there for six or seven months. Yeah. And I, I don't understand that argument. Uh, don't know if you had any any personal favorites. Um, the person that says they've passed it on to the police. That was my personal <laughs> favorite. Um, I can't. I mean, I'm laughing, but. Um, this isn't funny. Oh, no, no. Wait a minute. Never mess with someone's food. Well, all right. There was a few, um, a few people were getting a bit carried away. There was a guy replying to everyone. Mm -hmm. Um, very, very staunch vegan. Push, I won't say pushing his, his views on it, but he was. Someone did that to me once when I was a vegan. What? I was at a birthday party and there was a cake there and it was a beautiful birthday cake. Yeah. And I was in my relentless vegan mode and i said if that cake's not vegan i can't eat it and he said it is vegan so i ate a slice of cake and halfway through it he says that cake's not vegan and obviously because i'm a fat bastard i was like so and i just ate it ah so which like uh, any normal sound person would react to it yeah that was i was afraid there when you i thought you were gonna (laughs) Say you were one that was kicking up fuss about it. That's I doubled down. I ate it faster. <laughs> yes, I like that. That's what uh, it was. I, nice. I needed more of you in the comments. The more more <laughs> of that kind of thinking in the comments. Although the hate, the hate makes it more fun, doesn't it? Yeah, the the vegan pain is hilarious. It's it's similar to what I used to do on Twitter when I'd had like. I'd make up stories on Twitter and the fact I made them up, it didn't bother me that people would get so offended and say stuff to me about my my fake opinion because I knew I made that up. I don't actually believe that. Yeah. And it's very similar to this here. So I'm not like, not one thing has really actually. <laughs> That's what I found funny. Offended me. Yeah. Someone called you a religious bigot because they said you wouldn't do this to a Jewish person, person, would you? There was a few, a lot of, yeah, a lot of um, feeding a Muslim halal meat and stuff like that. Yeah. I was like, no, you're right. I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't. <laughs> yes. Um, I love how it can descend into carnage, though. Like, there's a possibility that they could turn up at your work and try I don't and know. get you sacked. I don't know if you noticed them. Um, one guy brought BLM into it. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, BLM and LGBTQ <laughs> plus was mentioned in one comment. Yeah. Uh, but I think that was after like an exchange of people talking. And what happens if you create a trend in McDonald's? Because you're so influential, like governments are watching. Maybe McDonald's workers will start doing this to people and you'll get the blame. That's a good point. But another argument would be, like I said, I think before. You're cheating yourself getting a McPlant being a vegan. It's. It's not much healthier than. Than having a beef burger. So. No, actually, do you know what? I should just say, don't do it, McDonald's. If you work at McDonald's, don't do that. Just to cover myself. Yeah, don't do it. And if you want to have a nice life, don't eat from McDonald's, even though they're sponsored. Even though they are bringing us today's episode, 
I'm just glad that they give me free reign and they don't ask to have any control over it or edit stuff out. Because otherwise I feel like I would have just read that letter and then the episode would have ended. So uh, shout out to, I can't remember his name, Dave, I think. From the head of, head of McDonald's, who's actually the top guy, the guy who owns McDonald's. Yeah. Um, Ronald? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was going to say Ronald and I thought. Yeah. It might be, people might not believe He's might not believe that. He's retired now. Um, been working since the 50s. Was it not um, Batman? What's his name? Michael <laughs> Keaton. <laughs> <laughs> it's also kind of ruined. It's actually kind of ruined the, the whole viral TikTok video segment that I'd planned. Because I didn't think it was going to be. I didn't think it would actually work so well. On the first attempt. Um, so. Unless people. Unless, send in your ideas. To what the next one could be. I've thought about maybe do like. This is how I eat something. Or this is how you're supposed to eat something. And you like. Say like a pizza slice. And you fold it up. Oop. You fold it up. And I don't know. Eat it in a weird way or. Yeah. I don't know. Something. I think food is the way to go. So as as one guy got a lot of traction, don't mess with people's food. That was a uh, Ard. I think his name Ard Vass. I saw him come up a lot. Yeah. Don't mess with people's food. We can do that next episode. I mean, we pretend to mess with people's food, which is a win-win. Yeah. No one gets hurt. Uh. A lot of people were talking about dying because they ate a bit of meat when they were against it. Ironically, I feel like this is a message from the universe somehow because when I broke my vegan diet, I actually broke it with a McDonald's. I think that's quite weird and how it all connects together. And it ties in very nicely with this being a McDonald's episode. Um, I think... I can wrap up the TikTok chat. Um, and I mean, after that, there's not, there's, it took up a lot of creative, took up a lot of creative um, preparation. Yeah. And I literally took down one other note all week. <laughs> that <is> a, <laughs> that's the spirit <laughs> I think it, it is actually kind of funny I was thinking I was driving one day and I saw it happen and I thought uh, yeah let's word this correctly and I was like have you ever gone gone through or going through like everyone a really really shit time tough time in your life everything that goes bad could go bad could go bad everything that could go wrong goes wrong and you're there down in the dumps feeling sorry for yourself and then it just hits you if only I had one of those dream catchers <laughs> over my bed or hanging from my car wing mirror is where I saw it on someone's car none of this shit would happen that's a fair point. So there's there's some something to take away from today. If you've, I mean, if you've managed to stay with us this long, you need to set up a Amazon Christmas wish list, mate. Put Dreamcatcher on it. I feel like mine would get hijacked. Yeah. By either the vegans or the people who loved me and now will hate me. Yeah. So that's a bit of a, I feel like this episode's, you, I didn't make you as enough, enough of a, of a guest star or a co-star or a guest. Who? Yeah. You. So I'll, I feel like, what have you been up to the last week? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I've I've enjoyed this episode, mate. It's been very nice. Did you have any gigs this week? I've just finished my tour. I did my last tour at the Oran Moor in Glasgow. And we're finishing the Funny Bunch. I run a monthly night at the Stand Comedy Club in Glasgow. Every called, Sunday night? Uh, once a month, the last Sunday of the month. Okay. It's called Dad and Kono and the Funny Bunch. Yeah. And the last one is this Sunday. Last one of the year or last one of the run? I just get... I thought it was the last run, but I've just been offered extra dates. So I think I'll continue at, at the stand. And then I'm planning next year, I'm going to film my special, a stand-up special. So after Sunday, I think I'll I'll start thinking about that. See, filming a stand-up special is... How do you choose which one you're going to pick? Will you film a few and then take the best one? It depends. Uh, because I've been doing this for 15 years, I would like to get a big venue. I'd like to try the Pavilion or the Kings. Okay. Uh, but if it was at the stand, I would try to film two two nights and four shows to a night yeah. and then edit it all together. But because this is my kind of... A, a kind of big lifetime moment, I would, yeah. I would like to get a big venue. And then just... And then you, you you have to do it all in one night. Or then yeah. you know, like, this is the night, this is the special night. Yeah. Okay. Which probably adds more pressure, but... Fuck Pre- it. Pressure makes diamonds, baby. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Blood diamonds in my case. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. We're trying to keep us um, nice and friendly here. I'm so sorry. We don't want to get down there. Yeah, so that's my plans and I'm in Christmas mode. There could be something there in the in the TikTok one. Blood diamonds. Yeah, let's do it. Could be dicey. Yeah. Uh, the vegans would still think the burger was worse than a blood diamond. Some of the some of the vegans would actually prefer to harm me and probably like run me over, thinking I done that, or even if I done it, and they would think that's better than. Killing an animal. Yeah. Where's the sense in that? That's true. <laughs> have you had your eyebrows threaded again? Eyebrows have not been threaded. I'm trying to think who who noticed them. Me. Oh, I have to give a no. Someone after watching that. Ah. Noticed them and spoke about them. Actually, a few people. So I think there was maybe some people were a bit hesitant to to mention it. Yeah. Not you. No way. Within. That's a, from a fellow <laughs> eyebrow. F- I know. Fredder. It's like a fight club. Yeah. As soon as you walked in, I was like, he's he's one of us. Except you broke the first rule, didn't you? <laughs> 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 uh, no, there was no no more threading. It's it's just so it's too painful. Yeah, it is to go all the time. Yeah. But it is it is definitely worth it. I don't know if you'll notice like my hair is completely different this episode because it's just been freshly washed. Um which so when you think it looks kind of like slicked back or whatever or a bit more behaving. It mean it's it generally means it's greasy. So a lot of those times when you were complimenting it, it wasn't in a good place. My heart was though. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I'll I'll take that on board. Basically, what I was getting at is I can't believe it hasn't been complimented today. That was a, a long-winded way of trying to get a bit of I'm hair sorry. love. Your hair is glorious. I'm, Cheers. I'm thanks. jealous of it. Thanks. Uh, shout out to Luke Darling, who always shares when he's listening to the podcast. So he's the one I always. I went to share repost. some stuff in your Instagram, by the way, and I can't share it. I don't know if you've made it. There's something about it. Oh, have when I? You, when you share a story on your Insta stories, I can't share it. 
because I double down on not liking, subscribing and sharing. So I'm going to have to change that. Yeah, I will change it. Um, yeah, there wasn't much. Uh, Twitter doesn't really generate much traction for us at all. I've noticed hmm. not many, not many link clicks or followers. That's the annoying thing about TikTok. You can't put in links or anything. Yeah. Or am I doing it wrong? No, no, I think that's true. Which was a funny thing. I was talking to my friends last weekend, Jamie and Luke, a different Luke. And uh, the two of them are like studied and work in marketing and business. And like was talking to them about this and they were like, you need to do it this way or you need to do a certain thing. And I was like, yeah, I know, but I still think I'm right. I was like, I know you're the actual professionals and this is your job and you know everything about it but in my heart of hearts i still think i'm right <laughs> <laughs> and i have to try and realize that i'm not the exception that it's there's a reason why it all actually all the stuff you're talking about does work but i'm too trying to be too cool and being like no i'll do it my way i know it i know this will work yeah i'll prove them wrong I'll prove you too wrong. Or just do it. Uh, well, that was yeah. I know. Just just do it. <laughs> um, another big, another big um, American. <laughs> Said from a Scottish exhausted MNC. fat guy. Just do <laughs> it, right? <laughs> If Nike ever, Nike are all about changing their strategies and going for like the real kind of street, um, not street, like the underground kind of things now. Yeah. So if they're looking for a new kind of like, instead of that real inspirational Nike logo swoosh, just do it. Here's your. I could be like, here, just do it. I mean, I never done it. Just do it. If Nike are trying to break Scotland, they, that's what they need. They need a real authentic <laughs> Scottish slogan. Just Sorry. as long as they don't take, don't get. What? Ah, thought I set you up there. Um, I rem I can't remember it, but I don't know. get bitter. Get better. Get better. Yeah. yeah. McDonald's. Don't get bitter. Get better. That's what you're gonna see. Yeah. Twenty twenty three. We should do that for the food thing next week. The both of you eat a McPlant. And then pretend to faint. Yeah. And be like, look, this is what, just to prove all of you wrong, who said, what happens if a vegan eats some meat? Eat it and then pretend, oh my God, I feel terrible. Yeah. And I'm like, fucking told you. <laughs> he could have killed someone. <laughs> And has nearly killed himself and trying to prove it all of us wrong. Yeah. I feel like I feel like it was possibly a shorter episode this week, um, which means a lot less a lot less work and a lot less congratulations to the people for if you've made it this long, well done. Um you didn't have as long to get through this week. But uh I think I'll I'll <clears throat> I'll finish it with that and thank you Darren for filling in again for another great episode slightly underprepared but yeah. there was a lot of there was a lot of um, we're in the million club we're in the million views club yeah um, so thank you for all for being a part of that also you were uh, my soundboard last week I for, for said video I appreciate um, it Listen, this might be the last time that I'm here because you've, you know, Lewis and stuff with next week. So I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. If if it is, it's it's been a pleasure. Yeah. And if not, see you next week. 